Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. It's your boy JJ here once again. I just picked up on some leaks that were coming out for uh, 2023. So make sure y'all stick around. Let's get through this B-roll and do enjoy yourself right here at JJ's PC Builds. Alrighty, welcome back from that B-roll. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Got some uh, very interesting leaks from uh, Tech Power Up. I, I kind of grabbed some charts from stuff like that and did some, you know, some rough estimates on what's going on. Seems that the... Um, Seems that the leaks are out that uh, the, there's going to be a new uh, NVIDIA G, uh, RTX uh, 4060, believe it or not. And it kind of come to a shock to me to think that next year they're going to be bringing it out in 2023 from what I see. And it's going to be a little bit interesting. Now I'm going to pull up this chart really quick for you. And we're going to flip-flop over to that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and move my big head out of the way. There we go. Alrighty. So, looking at the leak, you know, I did, I did a little bit of modifying on this comparison chart. Just to let you know, it's not the actual comparison you would get from uh, Tech Power Up. I kind of modified this a little bit from what I found as information. Um, from what I see in the information is this, that it's going to be the AD104 Ada Lovelace. It's going to be, the foundry is going to be TSMC. Uh, for nanometer, it's going to be 35,800 million transistors Die size is 295 millimeter to the second power. The release date is 2023. We don't know what you know what month yet, but as soon as I know more information, I'll let you know. It just by the chance of more information, if you want to become a part of the the family here at JJ's PC Builds, make sure you subscribe. It would help us out here. The more we get to subscribe, the faster we get up to um, the 1,000 1, um, subscribers that we need to get to the next next bit with uh, here at uh, YouTube. So if you will, please subscribe. If you're going to watch the videos, just subscribe. This way you get up-to-date videos, what comes out next, and, you know, we'll do our best to make sure the videos make some kind of uh, sense. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you like the videos and you watch them from beginning to end would be much appreciated. Let's go ahead and get back to the news. All right, so this is an unreleased product. They think it's going to be PCIe 4.0 X16. It looks like the base clock is going to be 2505 megahertz, uh, 2640 megahertz on the boost clock. Memory clock's 2250 megahertz, 18 gigabytes per second effective. So, but do remember, this is just a leak. This is not the actual. As soon as we get the actual, we will let you know. The memory size is going to be 8 gigabytes. It's GDR6, not GDR6X. It's GDR6. It's going to be a 128-bit memory bus. The bandwidth is going to be 288.0 gigabits per second. It's going to be DirectX 12, OpenGL 4.6, OpenCL 3.0. And it's going to be Vulcan 1.3, CUDA 8.9, and shader model is 6.6. .6. Shading units is 5,888 from what I'm reading. Yep. 
The TMU is going to be 184, 64 ROPs with the SM count of 46, tensor cores 184, RT cores 46, L1 cache 128 kilobytes per SM, and L2 cache 48 megabytes. It's going to, theoretical performance is going to be 169 gigapixels. Texture rates 485.80 gigatextiles. FP16 performance, half performance is 31.09 teraflops. It's 1 to 1 ratio for the performance. And 30, FP32 float performance is going to be 31.09 teflops. The FP64 double performance is going to be 485.80 gigaflops. It's 1 to the 64th. So that's going to be interesting. Now as far as where it, where it lies with on the scale, if this becomes true, it probably will. It looks like that the it will fall short of the Radeon RX 6800 XT, which has an 8% lead on it. And um, the GeForce RTX 3080 has 11% lead. Uh, the RT RX 6900 XT has a, uh, a 17% lead. Um, the... Looks like the RX 6950 XT has got a 24 point lead, and uh, the 3090, the third, the 3090 Ti has got a 35 uh, percent lead, as as well as it's on an estimate about until the December the 13th when um, the. R, when um, the RX 7900 XTX comes out, I'm estimating it's going to be have a 25% lead over the, the RTX 4060. That's just a guess. It's not actual. But it looks like that the GeForce RTX 4080 is going to have a 50 57% lead and the RTX 4090 has a 98% lead. So that's a lot of lead from, you know, the first the first card they put out for this year, you know, to the one that they're going to be putting out next year. It really doesn't kind of make sense, you know, looking at all this. To me, it kind of it kind of just falls short. If y'all know what I mean, you know, pricing wise, we don't know yet, so we're just uh, going on the gander on this. But anyway, looking at it, I'll be honest with you, it unless this card costs approximately less than two hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty dollars, that's the only way it's going to be really recognized. I don't see them selling this card for a thousand dollars if that's what you're wondering. You know, especially when they get the when AMD's got their RX 7900 XTX coming out at 999. You know, and the and the RX 7900 XT coming out at 899. And I know those cards are going to well perform over this new card that AMD's or um, Nvidia's constructing for next year. So unless they got something up their sleeve to make this card more worthwhile, I, in my opinion, I don't see it. I don't see it outdoing AMD whatsoever for their new cards coming out this December on the 13th. So that's my thought about it for right now. As soon as I get more information, I will let you know. But just remember to like and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the better we get to the top so we reach our goal. Watch those videos, put likes on them, do what all you have to do to help us get to where we need to be. It, it furthers the channel and it gets us forward. But on the ne until the next video... This is going to be JJ, your boy. We will see you on the next one.